we will try to find out the cutting power friction power shear power and specific energy consumptions in uh, during cutting operations and specific energy consumptions uh, for friction specific energy consumption for the shear in orthogonal machining operations so how to find out the specific uh, uh, power power means first of all power means this is work done work done per second work done is nothing but it is the force multiplied by travel distance or distance along uh, along the force applied force distance distance or travel distance along force okay divided by time so you may write like this power over force into travel distance suppose x y t so force and this is my velocity so force multiplied by velocity will give you the power okay so similarly in orthogonal machining operations this is my work piece and this is the single point cutting tool and this is the thin joint deformations and after the shear plane it convert into the chip so this is my chip this is my shear plane this is your tool this is my finished surface finished surface this is the flank surface flank surface rack surface and this is the normal this angle is your alpha rack angle this is my wedge angle beta and this is delta clearance angle and this is my shear angle phi so this is my cutting velocity and chip flow take place with v suffix c velocity and the shear velocity is your vs so first is your cutting power to so, cutting power is nothing but p suffix c is your cutting force fc multiplied by cutting velocity v fc into cutting velocity v aapne dekha hoga ki ye this is my job okay and here this is my single point cutting tool thin joint deformation is like this here is the cutting force fc this is the thrust force ft and here is the frictional force ff normal frictional force nf and the resultant force r at similarly at the shear plane this is my fs ns and resultant force r so cutting power is equal to cutting force multiplied by chip cutting velocity now friction power friction power is equal to friction force along the rack surface ff into velocity chip velocity along the rack surface so this is my chip velocity third one is your shear power so shear power is equal to shear power means force along the shear plane fs multiplied by shear velocity so shear velocity this is my shear velocity v suffix x so in this way you may calculate the cutting power friction power and shear power and how to find out the material removal rate so how to find out the specific energy consumptions and material removal rate so specific energy consumption is nothing but specific energy con specific energy consumption for cutting operation so u suffix c is cutting power fc into cutting velocity over material removal rate so what is the value of material removal rate we know this is my work piece this is the single point cutting tool and in 3d it is look like this so this is my 
This is W is the width, T is the uncut chip thickness, cutting velocity V. And after the shear plane, this is my chip velocity Vc, W is the width, and Tc is the chip thickness. So material removal rate is nothing but it is your mass flow rate, coming mass flow rate rho into velocity or volume per unit time. So material removed per unit time. So here is your W into T is the cross sectional area into V velocity. So this is the volume per unit time. Out, outgoing W into Tc into Vc. So this is my material removal rate. Its unit is mm cube per second or volume per unit time. Volume removed, volume removed per unit time. So specific energy consumption during cutting U suffix C F C into V over W T into V or you can write W C into V cutting velocity W T C into V C. So in this way you may calculate the specific energy consumption for the cutting. Similarly, similarly specific, similarly specific energy consumption for friction. So friction means this is my workpiece. This is the single point cutting tool. This is the thin zone deformation. After this is chip. After the shear plane, the friction force act at this plane like this normal friction force and the resultant. So along the rack surface, rack surface. This is the chip velocity. So specific energy consumption due to friction, power, friction power, friction power means F suffix F into chip velocity along the rack surface BC divided by material removal rate. So F suffix F BC over material removal rate is nothing but again you may write like this W into T into cutting velocity. So WT into V or FF into VC over W into TC into VC. So U suffix F is nothing but this is my FF into VC over WT into V over FF into VC over WTC into VC. So this is my specific energy consumption for friction. Third one is my specific energy consumption for shear. So specific energy consumption for shear, shear for shear or along the shear plane. So this is my workpiece. This is the workpiece and this is the single point cutting tool in wedge shape. This is the thin zone deformations and this is my shear plane OA. So along this plane, we have a shear velocity and the force Fs, Ns and the resultant like this. So F suffix S, specific energy consumption, specific uh, shear power Fs along the shear plane force into velocity V suffix S divided by material removal rate. So material removal rate is nothing but this is WT into V or FS into VS over WTC into VC. So in this is my specific energy consumption. So in this way you may calculate the specific energy consumption for the uh, cutting force, specific energy consumption for the friction and specific energy consumption for the shear. These are very important formula when you solve the numerical related to orthogonal machining. Thank you very much.